Hello everybody, it is, today is January 11th, 2022, Happy New Year, this is a small garden update. Um, these are my pepper plants, the habanada still has never pollinated, peppers are supposed to pollinate themselves, I've done the shaking method, nothing works, I'd even like use my fingers and like touch all the flowers, I ended up like touching my face after and I sneezed a lot, it was a bad idea. That didn't work, the flowers keep dropping as you can see. But this is the jalapeno plant that's been very successful. This area right here has about 10 peppers. Most of them are about this small. And there's like some bigger ones as well. So these are the jalapenos are really, really prolific. And they're doing fantastic. And I've been giving them to some friends. And they love eating them. Just eating them. And they turn red. And they turn really spicy. Here also we have the Thai peppers. Thai pipers are doing really well. I think they're slowing down a bit, but still pretty good. There's a lot of baby flowers right here that are forming peppers every day. These are some um, green onions. My mom was like, replant this. Go ahead. I got to turn them every day so um, they grow straight. This, I think, is a Cosmo. It looks like a Cosmo leaf. I thought I planted a snapdragon in the middle and then Cosmo's around, but this is what sprouted. Uh, these are pea plants. Uh, the purple ones are regular sugar snap peas. The green trellises are purple sugar snap peas. I decided to invert the colors. That way it will be easier to find the peas on the, um, on the trellis. And then this is cilantro, which finally germinated. I soaked these for so long, the seeds. And I did the cracking method before they finally, um, it finally germinated. Because I've tried planting it so many times before. Oh, these are my strawberry plants. I'm in this sunlight. And I think this is going to be ready about tomorrow. This is a bell pepper and it was doing like really well. It had like the bigger ones before, but right now it's just giving me small ones. It's just another bloom right there. Um, green onions from seed. I am lettuce, lettuce, this shard, and some flowers. I need to water these because they're still germinating. <laughs> Petunia is still doing well. Remember there were like white and uh, pink ones. Right now there's only these purple ones. Here's that's my green stock. I don't even have one, two, three, four, five. I don't even have all the layers. There's only five here. And uh, the top layer is all kale and this one's spinach. Uh, there's a lot of aphids under there. You can't really see them, but I found out that if they eat the darker plants, they turn like a brownish color. And then if they eat the greener plants, they stay green. There's um, purple bok choy, green bok choy on the second layer. The third layer is supposed to be lettuce, which hasn't really done much. Oh! I've never noticed that. <laughs> That's new. Uh, this fourth layer is Swiss chard, and I tried planting flowers in some of the pockets that didn't um, germinate. I don't know if they worked. I don't think they have. And the bottom layer is nasturtium, because I wanted to, if any pests came up, they would like eat this and just run away. This is the most prolific one. This is the first one that sprouted, but it looks like it's dying. I mean, sprouted by flowering. Um, yeah. Me turn it so it's kind of warm today. I moved this over here. This is my coleus. It's doing well, but I think it's dying because all the leaves are drooping. Like you can see, it's been really cold, but the days are starting to get above 70, which is really weird. The lemon basil are all flowering. I might come in and like snip some of the flowers off. Um, purple basil and large leaf basil both dying. This is a bell pepper plant, I believe. I just don't leave all of my stuff. And there's a lot of buds on it, but I don't know. It hasn't been growing bell peppers lately, which is really weird. It stopped doing that for a while, but there's so many buds. And I just saw there's one flower um, in the soil, but other than that, none of them have fallen off. This, these two are Cosmos, I can see. I don't know what seed that is. More green peppers that my mom wanted me to plant. I just rotate and dead coleus. I've, this is the beautiful coleus uh, that I had before. I'm just letting it um, seed and fall, you know? I mean, not coleus, coxcomb. Here's the coleus that I propagated. These are chives. I thought they were green onions, but I cut them and I was like, oh, holy cow, these are chives. My first chive that has actually germinated. This is a Roma tomato plant. I should probably cut off this dying part, but there's like two... Two in there. I think there was one when I first put it into this pot. Um, I don't know where it went. Coleus. Uh, there was a lot of rain, so <laughs> these were all full of rainwater. This... I honestly don't remember. These are bell peppers. 
And I think this is a habanada, but I honestly have no idea. I finally cut it out and it just tasted like a pepper to me. And here are my... These are my beets. I think... Oh, yeah, I just planted some radish seeds and... Oh, they need more sun. And then these are the beets that have been here for a while, since the beginning. So this whole pot is just beets. I remember that one's the beets and radish one. The radishes were all um, harvested. Here I have some carrots that are trying to germinate. I'm trying to remember if carrots are the ones that you're supposed to cover before they germinate. Uh, that's what I'm doing. That's my garden update. Thanks for watching. Bye!